Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with chapter 4 from the fisheries that is uh, crafts and gears in Indian fishery. So in this topic we are going to study important fishing crafts or the boats and the principal fishing gears or the nets which are uh, main or the important uh, devices or the equipments useful for capture of the fish from the available water resources. Introduction The methods of catching fish is vast and diverse. The fish is caught by four ways that is by using spears, traps, nets and by the baited hooks. The spears and the traps are almost the earliest weapons and are still in use today in many parts of India. The sea coast and uh, riverine and shrine water of India have a great wealth of fish fauna. For catching fish, simple rude crops and canals to well-built boats are used by the fishermen. A number of traps and gears are the device to capture the fishes. Nowadays, motor boats and modern steam vessels are being used. These devices are grouped into principal types and divided on the basis of their form or the structure, function and mode of operation. In fishing technology, crafts and gears are real means of the production. Fishing methods means the ways by which fish can be captured. Gears are the instruments used for catching the fish and the crafts provide the platform for the fishing operations also to carry the harvested fish or crew and fishing gears or the nets. There are several types of crafts and gears operated in sea and inland waters. There are some gears or nets which can be operated without the help of craft or the boat. Crafts and gears used in different parts of country are mostly indigenous. So whatever the crafts and gears or the boats and nets used in a different parts of country are mostly indigenous or locally made, non-mechanized or simple and locally built. However, mechanized crafts or the advanced crafts or the boats have also been introduced in certain parts of India for harvesting fish. The farm fish can be captured by two ways that is uh, drying out. Drying out means emptying the pond or removing the water from the farm or the uh, particular pond. And non-drying out means the ponds or farm, fish farm cannot be completely dried out. So these are the two type of uh, activities which could also help in a harvesting of the fish. So the farm fish can be captured by two ways that is drying out and non-drying out. Drying out means emptying or removing the pond water completely or removing or emptying the ponds or the fish form completely called as a drying out. And non-drying out means the ponds or the fish form cannot be completely dried out or partially dried out. So partial removal of water or complete removal of water. So these are the two methods and which will help in harvesting of the fish. Drying out means complete emptying or removing the water, total removal of the water from the ponds or the fish farm that is drying out and partial removal of water from the ponds or the fish farm that is non-drying out. To minimize considerable losses of fishing, following precautions should be taken at the time of capture. So to minimize the considerable, considerable losses, to minimize considerable losses of the fishing, following precautions should be taken at the time of harvesting. 1. Feeding should be stopped before 2 or 3 days of capturing. Harvesting should be done in the cool weather, preferably in the morning. It should be avoided at the time of raining or thundering. Long transport of the harvested fish may be avoided. Young pieces, salmonids and delicate fishes should not be heaped up in a scoop nets or any other receptacle or containers. 
Fishing can be practiced with the various equipments. Several devices and equipments are used for the capture of fish. These differ according to the nature of the water bodies, the age of the fish and their species. Fishing crafts or the boats and the gears or the nets are grouped as so there are main three groups of the fishing crafts and gears which are used in a different type of fisheries that is a marine fishery, inland fishery or the advanced mode of fisheries or the harvesting of the fish and these are marine fishing craft and gear, inland fishing craft and gear and third one that is mechanized crafts. So fishing crafts or the boats and the gears or the nets are grouped as three types such as marine fishing craft and gears which are used in the seas and oceans for the harvesting fish then inland fishing craft and gear which are used in the inland freshwater fishery resources that is rivers or the ponds or dams where the crafts and gears are used uh, for the harvesting fish from the inland regions and third one that is mechanized craft so crafts or boats used in Indian sea are of many types such as catamarans, masula boats, dinghies, naukas, machwa, titogorin boats, dugout canoe, rampani boat, built up boat. So these are the variety of boats found in a different regions uh, of the Indian coast and are used as a craft in a different regions for the catching or harvesting of the fish. And they are catamarans, Masula boats, dinghy, nauka, machwa, titikorin boats, dugout canines, rampani boat and built up boat. So these are the different type of boats available or used along the entire Indian coast for harvesting the fish as a craft. Now we will explain the important fishing crafts or the boats. So first we will explain the catamaran. So the word catamaran is derived from the Tamil word katumaram. The word catamaran is derived from the Tamil word katumaram, which describes the nature of craft or the boat. It is a killerless craft. This is made up of numerous wooden logs tied together. The logs are arranged in such a way that in the side center there is a shallow depression and which is uh, used for stocking the caught fish and uh, as a manuring space for the fishermen. So the catamaran, the word catamaran is uh, derived from the Tamil word katumaram. It is a primitive type of craft which describes the nature of craft. Katumaram or the catamaran describes the nature of craft. It is a killerless craft, primitive craft. This is made up of numerous wooden rock, logs tied together. So it is prepared by using the number of or a variable number of wooden logs which are tied together and has been given the shape of the boat. The logs are arranged in such a way that in the inside center there is a shallow depression. In the inside center there is a shallow depression which is used for stocking the pot fish and as a maneuvering space for the fishermen. The front end of the boat, the front end of the boat is cut slantingly to reduce water resistance during fishing. So the front end of the craft or the boat is cut slantingly so as to reduce the water resistance during fishing or during streaming the boat in the water. 2 to 5 wind cells used for streaming. 2 to 5 wind cells are used for streaming the boat. Catamarans have a length of 5 to 12 meter, width 0.7 meter to 1.4 meter and depth of 0.3 to 0.7 meter. So these are the dimensions of the catamaran. 2 to 5 wind cells are used for the streaming the boat and catamarans have a length of 5 to 12 meter a width of 0.7 to 1.4 meter and a depth of 0.3 to 0.7 meter. Generally, the catamarans consist of two main logs. Generally, 
the catamaran consists of two main logs in the center and two side logs they are cut into a boat shape they are cut into boat shape and tied together with a rope catamaran is a primitive type of fishing craft it is normally operated by one or two fishermen depending on its size the use of catamaran is restricted to the east coast from orissa to cape comorin with a little extension towards the north on the kerala coast it is the most rudimentary or primitive craft used by the traditional fishermen all over the world it is a very economical and efficient craft evolved for surf beaten uh, coast surf beaten that is the sea coast where the long period oscillations or the waves of water uh, on the beach so the catamaran is most rudimentary craft used by traditional fishermen all over the world it is very economical and efficient craft evolved for surf beaten coast surf beaten coast means the sea coast where the long period oscillations of the waves of the water on the beach are uh, found so this is the diagram representing the type of catamaran the first diagram representing titicorin type of fishing boat uh, used along the coast of tamil nadu state titicorin type of fishing boat or a tamil nadu state which is used along the coast of tamil nadu state uh, tamil nadu state of the india so it is titicorin so it is consisting of uh, several wooden logs which are uh, tied together by using the rope then has been given a shape of the boat by cutting uh, front end with a slanting cut so as to avoid the resistance of the water while streaming or while the movement of the boat uh, through the water then it also consists of the uh, shallow depression which can be used for the uh, operating uh, fish operating or fish catching operations and also to store the caught fish harvested fish then another diagram shows the pablo type fishing boat of the chennai pablo type fishing boat of the chennai which has uh, been a, a little advanced than the titicorin type and consisting of several compartments so as to store the fish or the net or uh, the motor engine uh, compartment so it is a somewhat advanced type of boat and it is a, a pablo type fishing boat of the chennai representing the advanced uh, feature or advanced version of the catamaran that is a pablo type fishing boat of chennai so these are the two diagrams of the boats or the craft representing uh, the examples of the catamaran or uh, rudimentary type of crafts which are used uh, in a uh, tamil nadu state for harvesting of the fish along the coast of uh, chennai or tamil nadu there are four type of catamarans already we have uh, seen the diagram of the uh, catamaran boat but there are different type of catamarans mainly there are four type of catamarans which are prepared and used uh, differently in a different places along the coast of india so there are four type of catamarans first one that is orissa or ganjam type orissa or ganjam type so uh, it is quite obvious that the orissa or ganjam type of uh, catamaran is used along the uh, orissa coast of orissa for harvesting the fish along the sea, uh, sea coast these are boat shaped catamarans these are orissa or ganjam type these are boat shaped catamarans made up of five logs which are made up of by using uh, five wooden logs which are pegged or connected which are pegged or connected together with the use of wooden pieces instead of being tied together uh, with a rope to give the shape of boat so instead of using rope or instead of using a rope so as to tie or so as to bring the wooden logs together while preparation of the boat there is a use of wooden pegs so wooden pegs are used 
between the two wood logs so as to connect the wooden log together so as to give the, and uh, to give the shape of the boat so orissa or ganjam type these are boat shaped catamarans made up of five wooden logs and which are pegged or connected together with the help of wooden pieces or wooden pegs instead of being tied together by rope and uh, has been given the shape of the boat then second is andhra type it is slightly larger than the orissa type andhra type of catamaran is slightly larger than the orissa type it has 5 to 7 meter heavy wood it has 5 to 7 meters heavy wood and uh, there are strong median logs there are strong median logs which are uh, fitted in the center al along its entire length so there are strong median logs and used in a fitting with the sides so there are strong median logs which are uh, fitted in the center and then uh, uh, on either sides there are the wooden logs which are uh, connected together so as to give a shape of the boat together with the shallow depression inside and the side logs will form the wall or uh, side walls of the uh, boat and it is slightly larger than orissa or the ganjam type and it can be prepared by using 5 to 7 meters uh, wooden logs and it is slightly larger in size than the orissa type so andhra type of the catamaran is slightly larger than orissa type and it has 5 to 7 meter heavy wood and there are strong median logs in the center uh, which are uh, fitted with the side logs then third one that is a coromandel type this is the original tamil nadu type coromandel type of catamaran he is the original tamil nadu type uh, of the uh, boat or the catamaran and commonly used around chennai it is made up of 3 to 5 logs tied together coromandel type of the catamaran that is a uh, original tamil nadu type and commonly used around chennai it is made up of by using 3 to 5 logs tied together with some variations in pattern sometimes seven logs are used for the construction sometimes seven wooden logs are used for the uh, preparation of the coromandel type of catamaran and uh, then it is named as a catamaran so the largest catamaran largest catamaran having larger size the largest catamaran uh, prepared by using seven wood logs and uh, are called as catamaran and this is used for catching flying fish catamaran this is a somewhat larger catamaran used by using seven wood logs which are tied together to uh, prepare the boat and uh, it is used for catching of the flying fish in the waters of nagpatnam called as catamaran so advanced or the larger size of the catamaran is called as catamaran and is used by using and is prepared by using uh, seven wood logs and is much larger catamaran and thus is called as catamaran and is used for the catching of the flying fish in the waters of the nagpatnam then last one that is a boat catamaran so boat fourth type of a uh, catamaran that is boat catamaran it is a small boat shaped vessel boat catamaran is a small boat shaped vessel it is made up of three wooden logs it is prepared by using three wood logs mainly that is one in the center and two on the sides so boat catamaran is a small boat shaped vessel it is made up of three logs and fitted into Uh, fitted together and fitted into the regular boat shape so these three wood logs one central and two side logs are fitted together and has been given the shape of the regular uh, boat and it is used on the coast it is used on the coast around the mandapam and the mukur regions the boat catamaran is used for the harvesting of the fish along the coast around mandapam and mukur regions 
Wide variations of this boat are found in the Tuticorin, Cape Comorin and the Colachal areas. So there are wide variations in uh, preparation or there are wide variations in making the boat catamaran are found in the regions such as the Titicorin, Cape Comorin and Colachal areas. So uh, this is about the catamaran and the different type of catamaran. So it is a primitive uh, craft but uh, efficient craft and used along the east coast of the India in various regions and uh, which are uh, made differently as per the uh, place or the state uh, where, these, uh, where these are again classified into four types such as Orissa or Ganjam type, Andhra type, Coromandel type, Orissa or Ganjam type is used, uh, catamaran is used in the, uh, along the coast of uh, Orissa. Then Andhra type is again used for the catching of the fish along the east coast of the Andhra and the Coromandel type is a true Tamil Nadu type of catamaran and is uh, having uh, again different types that is uh, uh, catamarans with a variable range uh, of its size and can be prepared either by using 3 to 5 wooden logs uh, as a regular catamaran and may be uh, prepared by using 7 wooden logs and with a larger size called as kalamaran and can be used for catching of the flying fish along the Tamil Nadu uh, uh, coast that is a coromandel type and boat catamaran which is a small uh, boat shaped vessel prepared by using 3 wooden logs and uh, has been given the regular shape of the boat and is used around the Mandapam and Mukura regions and wide variations of the boat catamaran wide variations of the boat catamaran are found in the different regions uh, along the east coast that is the Titicorin, Cape Comorin and the Kolachar area so this is about the catamaran so today with this we will uh, stop here and next time we will continue the next type of uh, boat or the craft that is Machua. Thank you.